Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would show you guys a quick little review on the mini Dionysus. I've had this bag for around three and a half months, almost four months. It's about to be four months. So I thought I could give you guys a true like what I think about this bag. Do I think it's worth it? So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. Okay, so as always, the way I start these reviews is I'm going to show you guys the general overview of this bag, just kind of little close-ups. If you guys haven't seen videos already or if you guys haven't had the chance to see this bag in person, um, here we go. So here is the very front of the bag. This is the back. So it has the GG canvas print, but then the basically the actual bag itself is actually lined with suede. If you guys can see, it's suede on both sides. And then it does have a button closure you guys can see that it's not magnetic it is an actual button and then there's more of the suede material right here but then it's canvas on this side and then it does come with a chain and the chain is actually detachable as you guys can see here i just wanted to show it on one side so it is connected by these d-rings right over here as you can see and just let me show you what it looks like as always so it has these little bars and then you attach this right back into it just by putting the bar into the d-ring and then you just put it back by pulling the d-ring back into it like this so if you guys wanted to take the chain off and just use it as like a tiny little clutch or a little pouch you're more than welcome to do that so honestly one of the main factors of why i bought this bag was this little detail right here there is a little key clasp right here so this is the thing really quickly is that a lot of people including myself okay i learned this recently well not recently but i learned this about maybe like a week into having this bag and i was like oh okay let me first give you a close-up of the d-ring the d-ring does say gucci on it hold on right over here so i used to think that this d-ring was to kind of make it more compact in a way whereas i thought this d-ring you can clip like a key fob onto this or just house keys so then the purpose being that you would have more space in here no so the purpose of this little key ring is actually to help make this into a belt which i will show you later so and then this is the inside of the bag there is no pockets or anything it's literally what you see is what you get for those of you that are interested it does have the gucci made in italy stamp right in there one thing to note is that this part is not suede just this part and then the edges are suede and then the drop for this bag i'll just put it on somewhere on the screen just if anyone is curious in terms of height what the drop length of the chain fully on is Alrighty, so to me the most important part about buying a bag is how much it is so let me just show you guys how much it is so we have the gucci website so currently the price for the dionysus the gg canvas print it's going to be 990 dollars they do have this in different finishes like for example the black one is really popular obviously if you guys pick a leather one it is going to be more expensive in general obviously leather is more expensive than canvas but they actually have a lot of different types the green one has like some of them have like different stones on the color this one's actually really pretty oh my god i love the emerald color and on top of that i love the little details on the jewels of the little serpenty heads and yeah i know um isabella or isabel oh my goodness i'm blanking but i know she has the gold one this one's really pretty too definitely like a night out bag and then there actually was one that i was looking at which was this one this is the number one that i was debating between it is the beige and white gg supreme print i just oh i don't know i really really like this color combo i just thought it looks it's like classic gucci but at the same time it's like new and updated the only thing that just made me hesitate about it was because of the light color and on top of that i don't know like don't get me wrong i really liked it but because this is just like classic gg print and i don't have anything that's really like classic gg print this is why i went for this one but honestly my second choice or honestly my top two choices was definitely this one and then the beige one the other thing that's really cool about this one is that this one is actually leather lined if you guys can see let's go on a close-up you guys can see that this one is actually leather lined whereas this one is not leather lined this one is just the canvas which i thought was really cool but then i i haven't seen this bag in person but this one actually looks like the canvas is actually like cloth canvas so i was honestly afraid that it would get dirty pretty Pretty quickly as well but oh look even the sides are leather too i really really like this one so if you guys were looking to getting one i definitely definitely want you guys to give this one a go but anyway so talking about price really quickly so 
if you guys haven't seen my unboxing video for this i actually did purchase this one in hawaii well i mean i did it my best friend went to hawaii and i told her to go to the gucci store because gucci gets like 10 percent off so i don't remember exactly how much i paid uh but i'll put the price that i paid over here and it just it hurts me though because it was 10 percent off the new updated price and then this bag used to be Def it was definitely like 820 somewhere around there or even 790 was it even that cheap i feel like at one point i think it went from being like 790 to 820 to 890 and then now it's like nine 990 so it's almost a thousand dollars so it's like a hundred and fifty dollar price increase which is a lot for like a bag this small let me know if you guys own this bag and if you guys got it like the cheapest price that you guys got this for so next we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this bag so i mean a pro is definitely the aesthetic i think this bag is so cute it's so tiny the fact that the canvas that i chose personally it's very durable i feel like if i accident like if i took this out not in the pouring rain because of course there's suede on it but just if there was like a light sprinkle i wouldn't really have to worry about it again not counting the suede bit because all the suede part is on the bottom so as long as it's not like pouring pouring i think i would be fine so at the time when i first was super interested in this bag a one of the pros was the price point is that i really wanted a dionysus bag honestly not even because it was trendy i actually only found out recently that this bag is considered trendy i saw on someone's reel that somebody said that the Dionysus is like a trendy piece and it's not gonna last forever. I definitely do agree that the Dionysus was really big in like 20, I wanna say like 2017. There was like this phase where so many YouTubers had this bag, like Sophia Chang had a Dionysus, somebody else that I followed had the Dionysus bag as well. And ironically, when it was trendy, I actually wasn't a huge fan of it. I thought it was fine like it was a nice bag but it wasn't really my aesthetic i guess and then the when i saw that they had the super mini one it just really really grew on me and then when i saw kendall jenner have the walk version that one just kind of solidified that i really just love this overall design i love that it's a button closure so it's like very secure very snug i love that they actually have this hook available so another pro that i did want to mention like i said before is that this bag can actually be made into a belt bag and how you do that is so you take this chain so again like i said so many people think that this little keychain is for like holding key fobs and stuff no so it's actually made so that this could actually be a belt loop so you hook it up together like this and then i mean one it could just be a shoulder bag like this so it could be a shoulder bag like this super cute it's actually a pretty good like drop length but this could also be a little bag so i actually did wear this as a bag where was i going i think it was in vegas i did bring this bag when i went to vegas and then i actually used this as a little belt bag so it doesn't look good with the top that i'm wearing right now but so it just Okay, this looks horrible because of my shirt, but if you wanted to wear this as a belt bag, you totally could. I'm gonna insert a picture of Holly Annery um, using this bag as a belt bag so you can get like a better idea of it. But honestly, one of my favorite ways to wear this bag is definitely over sh the shoulder. I just feel like it's very comfortable, it's very easy, and yeah, I just really like it. Okay, so now, a couple cons the biggest con for sure is the capacity see this is the thing i know this is a supreme mini bag okay so this isn't even just mini this is a super mini okay and it's just this is definitely not a grab and go bag honestly this is more a going out bag if you know you're not driving bag so you don't need to even bring a key fob to sit like to save space this is a bag that i can't just like rush over and go to the grocery store and like chuck everything in when i use this bag personally for me honestly i actually really have to think like okay now i have to switch out my card holder if i'm bringing like a fat wallet or just like even my thick pocket organizer i really have to think okay well which lip gloss do i have to pick or which lip balm like it's i have to really methodically think my phone does fit in here which i will show you later on in the video but if my phone goes in here there's really nothing else i'm going to be putting in here one of the cons that a lot of people say about the dionysus bag as a series is that the chain with the bag in and of itself is very heavy mine isn't heavy 
because obviously my bag is so tiny but if i were to size up that bag weight plus the chain i could totally understand why it would get heavy i'm sure the more you filled it because again it's a chain it would dig at your arm but because this bag is so tiny and so light i don't feel any of that i mean another con just in this one in particular is the suede obviously just suede in general you do have to be careful with if you stain the suede it is going to be kind of hard to get out but i wouldn't really say that that's that big of a con honestly i would say that the capacity Capacity would be the only con that I have for it but I feel like with a mini bag you can't really use capacity as a true con because it's like you know what you're getting yourself into you know what I mean so yes okay so I feel like this is what everyone wants to know is what fits so recently at least in the last like two days I've been using my mini Lueve puzzle bag as my go-to purse and I thought I would show you guys obviously the dimensions of this are significantly different but what can fit in here so like I was saying previously in one of the cons of why this isn't a grab-and-go bag to me the definition of a grab-and-go bag is literally i can just chuck things in here in a general sense what i always have on me is my phone my key holder a card holder slash wallet and some sort of lip treatment balm oil whatever okay so in this scenario because this is so small and narrow you have to really think about things that you're packing you have a couple choices for example if i wanted to do my airpods i actually would prefer to take them out of the case but this one just for the sake of actually hold on. for the sake of the video i'm going to show you guys so i have my airpod pros without the case and then the airpod three i don't know it was the third one that came out with the case so you guys can see so without the case obviously significantly slimmer and then this fits in easily okay and then let's just say for example i felt really ballsy and i decided to bring my louis vuitton pocket organizer so let me just show you what happens <laughs> actually let's do the pocket organizer for us in general i would never bring this thick wall this is even thick okay this is very thin compact but i would never bring this wallet if i was bringing this purse with me but just for the sake of showing do you see how this already takes up like 80 percent honestly 90 90 percent of this so if this pocket organizer is in here my airpods like technically they would fit but you would have to open it up and i don't know i just i really don't like that i don't like that at all so i would take this out and then i would just do airpods lipstick a tampon okay the regular one so it's small and then i'm gonna show you guys my key fob i always keep my key fob on this little like beaded thing like this and then i would take the thinnest card holder i have which would be the dior one but just for the sake of showing you i'm just gonna take like three credit cards out okay with my d and just do it like that essentially just to maximize space if i am using this like i said again i would not recommend taking a card holder or anything fatter than the louis vuitton just that signature card holder that everybody has anything thicker than that is going to take up way way too much space in here okay i'm going to take all of the items out now and then show you how the phone fits so with my phone with a case it does fit in here i do have just the regular pro i do not have the max the only downside of putting your phone in here so the plus side obviously is that you don't have to carry around your phone but the downside is that i basically can fit nothing else in here i could either choose my phone and then my key fob okay i'm gonna show you so my keys and my phone and then it actually fits fine in here it is just like a tinge a bit bulky right over here but other than that it's perfectly fine but if i have my phone in here then i cannot and i repeat i cannot have a lip balm it's just it just doesn't it just doesn't work <laughs> do you see that like this is just no absolutely not you see how like wonky it is now no let me realistically if i were to bring this for a night out and i was driving so i would put my key fob on this obviously i would take off this little charm thing but 
just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to take it off. So I would let my key fob hang like this. Again, it doesn't look very nice, but it gives me more space. And then I would actually take my phone out of the case. Again, just for some added space. But it is a little bit risky because if you take your phone out of the case, if you drop it during the night, you're screwed. So this is my phone. Okay, so we're going to put it right here. You guys can see that. And then... For example, if you need to talk on the phone, you can put your AirPods in the back of this. And then you could also put in some credit cards. Taking out the case really maximizes space because then, do you see, I could actually fit in a lip balm as well. Do you guys see that? And then it actually will comfortably close like this. So you're truly utilizing this, what, maybe like two and a half centimeters worth of space on this side as well and then i could actually fit my keys in here now as well you just kind of have to stack it like this and then like i said and it closes so this is what fits in my supreme mini it's not a lot i'm not gonna lie to you it's not a lot all righty so the final verdict do i think that this bag is worth it I'm gonna say no and hear me out first. I really, really do like this bag, don't get me wrong. I won't sell it for at least 10 years, at least. Maybe when I'm 40, maybe I'll think about selling this bag or like passing it down to somebody, but in the moment, no. However, if I were recommending, if you guys still have your eye on the Dionysus and you guys are like me, okay? We didn't buy this bag because of the trend. We bought it because we really like it. I actually would recommend sizing up or getting the walk. So. They have this one available in the walk size, which actually has a lot of space in it. It actually is way more spacious than this like Supreme Mini. The walk you can actually comfortably fit your phone in and lipstick or whatever, like something obviously small and petite. I just feel like, cause the walk is very like accordion style and it's just, it's a, it's, there's just way more space. We're sizing up and getting the Supreme Mini. So this is just, I don't know. I feel like the dimensions on this, I like a lot more. It's a, it's more square as opposed to like short and rectangular and I feel like it has the same basic aesthetic but it's just bigger. The only downside with this bag is that it is actually more than double the price is the only thing. So what I would recommend is if you guys are going to Hawaii to save 10% off or if you guys are going to Europe because the conversion rate of the dollar to the euro like you're winning. You're so winning. You would save probably like at least three to five hundred dollars depending on it. This one is actually lined with the GG canvas if you guys can see in the picture right over there whereas this one is lined with i believe the leather on the inside uh, but it does have the same like button closure as well which is really nice so yes those are my recommendations instead of getting this one so that is my final verdict i do really like this bag so far i have no issues with wear I took this to Vegas, I took this out, I've took this bar hopping, and this bag is fine. Like, it's in, it literally looks as if it's brand new. I actually kind of want to like break it in a little bit more and make this part like more flexible and kind of like fill this more. I have literally like no stains on the inside or anything like that. It's really crazy though because I wanted this bag for the longest time, probably before like since like 2019 i've been wanting this bag and i actually confused this bag with the walk size just when i would see pictures of it of course you guys know kendall jenner using the walk version of it and i just thought it was so cute so cute and then somebody told me that it was actually the walk not the supreme but just dimensions wise i like the aesthetics of the supreme mini one more i just i don't know i think it looks cuter whereas the walk obviously is a little bit bigger um i'm sure the walk is way easier to easy to use you don't have to even put a card Holder in but if you wanted to you can fit a card holder but you can just put it in all the card slots the fact that i had been thinking about wanting this bag for over two years that's what solidified me to being like okay i'm gonna get it but i did i refuse to pay full price knowing how much it used to be which is why when my best friend went to hawaii i was like okay this is my opportunity i should just get it it's 10 percent off the tax is only four percent as well so why not so that was the logic of me finally pulling the trigger on getting this back
as always thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any additional questions about the gucci supreme mini dionysus please leave them down in the comments down below and as always if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys